All right, so if you're using Notion, and we'll say you have a table of data, you want to do a count, uh, but you want to count it if a certain condition exists. What we're going to go through right now is we're going to do an example. We're going to say, let's count the number of items that have the word rights in them. Okay, so what you want to end up doing is counting the rice noodles here, as well as the rice and the rice crackers. So there's two different ways to do this. I would consider the first way that we're going to do it to be more traditional, i.e. what you would do in a spreadsheet. So we'll go over that first. So what you could do is you could uh, come over to the right hand side, left click on the plus sign, and we will add a property type where the type is going to be a formula. So for this formula, you would start it out with an if, so that's saying if a certain condition exists, we're going to do something. If not, we'll do something else. So we'll do uh, the parentheses. And in this case, we want to do it if the property called items contains a word. So we'll say we use the function called contains. And we're looking at the property of items, right? So we'll say property. And let's just come here and left click on items. It's all ready for us. And be careful here, this is case sensitive. So we'll capitalize the R. Because if you look at the items in this property, uh, all the rices are capitalized. And we're done designating what word it is. If it is there, we will return a one. And if not, we'll return a zero. We'll close that off. We're done with that formula. Let's click done. And if you look, it is working. So the rice noodles return one. Let's move this over here so we can see it better. Shrink it a little bit. There's no rice in these words, but as soon as you get the rice noodles, it counts a one, one, and a one. All right, so you come to the bottom of this column and you can just sum that. So at this point, you could be done. And what you've done is you've counted every instance in which there's a capital R-I-C-E. But one of the things that Notion kind of prides itself on is the fact that you usually don't have to use formulas. So there is a way to do this without formulas, but we'll talk about the limitation as we get through it. So we'll delete this column that we made with the formula, say that we don't need it. And we'll stay in this nice table view. And what we're going to do is apply a filter. So we'll left click on filter. And the filter is going to be where, and, and you can choose any of the properties here, we're going to say where items, contains, you have different choices here, we're going to leave it on contains, and the value is going to be rice. So this is going to be case sensitive. Again, if I just typed lowercase rice, there would be nothing. But if I leave the case the right way with a capital R, this filters your table and it leaves only the items with the rice in it. So the disadvantage of this is you can't see the entire list anymore, right? So if you're just trying to do this on the fly or if you're adding and subtracting items, you probably wanna do it with the formula and just have it be an additional property. But this could work. You can come down here and uh, to account and you can see that there are three of these items. You know, there's other formulas as well. You can sum and the number of the quantities all together is nine. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's a lot of others just like this one. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll see them as they come out. Thanks for watching.